Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for us. So guys, I say this all the time, these 304s are broke as a joke. I'm telling you guys, they have useless degrees in underwater lesbian, dance studies, <laughs> you know, jobs that aren't paying and have no retirement, car loans, student loan debt, all this other stuff, guys, right? And then these chicks do the dumbest thing that you could possibly do and have a bastard kid on top of that. Why, 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 why? That's the dumbest thing that you can do because they're raising the, the future carjackers of America, right? So guys, we're going to go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok and look at some of these single moms whining and moaning about how hard it is. But before we do, guys, like, subscribe, check out my second channel, my locals, the playlist at the end, guys, and let's get into this. Single moms, I just need to know Are you guys okay? Please. <laughs> like. Please. <laughs> absolute joke guys guys what do i always say <laughs> the only time I never trust a woman who's crying in public or on social media right come on guys and if you fall for this guys if you feel any type of sympathy for, for this knucklehead right here you've been had you've been took you've been hoodwinked And guys, she chose to be a single mom, right? She chose to let Nug Nug blast up the, up the club. You know what I'm saying? And then, guys, think about this. She had to actually set up her tripod, bring up the TikTok app, put the light behind it, turn this on, and then put on this performance. It's so ridiculous, guys. It's absolutely insane. Guys, she has 600 comments here and all these chicks... I'm not, I'm tired, I'm resentful, I'm overwhelmed. Please, come on. Someone says, these are all chicks. You are seen, mama. I'm crying in my bathroom. I just sit in here sometimes and cry. Next for a person, B-Dub. Wow, you just made me cry. Here I am thinking that I'm the only one going through this. Thank you so much for being vulnerable and sharing this. With us, I'll be praying for you, please. And guys, once again, all these knuckleheaded 304s, right? Because they all screwed their lives up by having bastard kids. And now, and now they want to bring up Jesus. God ain't got nothing to do with the fact that you decided to let Nug Nug, Gerardo, Gavin, right? Blast up the club. Absolute foolishness. Look at that, man. Look at that. All these comments, all saying the same thing. You're doing amazing. Please. Come on, man. And guys, your hashtags. You ready? Hashtag single mom healing. Hashtag single moms of TikTok. Hashtag mental health. Hashtag single mom struggles. Hashtag God's got me. Come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Clown world. Guys, don't, don't believe them. 
Don't let this affect you, clown world. <laughs> now, guys, guys, I, I know, I know, I know. I know you're not going to be able to understand what this person says, guys. So, obviously, obviously, I'm going to have to translate. <laughs> Silly Jedi. Silly Jedi. <laughs> guys, her fingers look like sausage links. <laughs> California anymore. I'm a social worker, a single mom of three. I have a master's degree. I just got a decent job, but I can't support my family here. And the quality of life, it's not something I want to give my children. I'm currently sleeping in my parents' living room. Look at and that. I live in a very dangerous area. I just don't see how our lives can improve here. Every single day we walk past gang activity, drugs, homelessness, and it's heartbreaking. And rent to live in a place like this is two to three thousand dollars a month. Anything in a slightly better neighborhood is over three thousand. And as a single mother, I don't know how I can afford that. Honestly, I don't know how anybody can afford that. Maybe you shouldn't have let Gerardo blast up the club, right? And be a single mom of three. And that's why I live in an area where there's multiple families in a one bedroom apartment, a two bedroom apartment. There's like 10 people living in a two bedroom, eight people living in a one bedroom apartment because no one can afford this. I've tried to live here. I mean, I've lived here most of my life. Recently, I've applied for some apartments and they require three times what the rent is. And that means that just to have a roof over my head, I would have to make $9,000. And I don't make that. I don't know who makes that. Aside from this, a few landlords have actually been really honest with me. And they told me that after 2020, they preferred to make their housing Section 8 housing to ensure that they are always getting a payment. You either make a ton of money or you are on Section 8. I'm part of the working class and I also don't qualify for Section 8. So in terms of housing, I'm at a loss, loss situation. I also have to think about my long-term goals. My parents live in the second floor. There's no elevator. The apartment is breaking oh, down. Yeah, they live on the second, the second floor. There's no elevator. Can you imagine this knucklehead going up the stairs? <laughs> down and there's going to come a time where they're not going to be able to go up those stairs. I need to have a place for them. And if I can't afford to live here and I can't afford to take care of my family with dignity, then I have to go. And I wish that I could just get like directions, do this, do this, do this, but it doesn't work like that. So I'm just going to keep praying. And I know that if God is calling me out of here, he is going to provide, he's going to make a way. I just have to trust. But I did want to share that. I don't know when. I thought she was going to reach down and, and pull up some donuts or something. I don't know how, but we are leaving California. I there it is, guys. And this is why she should have got married, right? Had two incomes. Maybe had had one less kid. You know what I'm saying? And she'd probably be doing a lot better. Guys, these three or fours asked for this. They asked to be out here, right? They don't... They don't need men. They're gonna be out here trying to work on the on their own. Right? Come on, man. Come on. Absolute foolish just trying to be strong and independent. I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers too big to ignore. Look at that. You know what I mean? You guys, she has 8,711 comments here. And all these chicks are saying, yeah, uh. Um, I moved to Texas. It's it's just as expensive. Come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Come on. This other girl says she makes 150k per year and is barely making it California. This per person has come to Oregon, please. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. This chick is cooked, man. Cooked. You understand? <laughs> hey guys, are hashtags. You ready? Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Hashtag single mom. Hashtag single mom of t 
TikTok. Hashtag working mom. Hashtag mom life. Hashtag single, single mom struggles. Hashtag mom's life. Hashtag leaving California. Hashtag moving. Hashtag moving on. Hashtag single mom strong, please. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. Right. Hashtag single mom of three. Hashtag uh, housing security. Hashtag housing market. Hashtag Affordable housing, hashtag true life, hashtag working moms of TikTok, hashtag nine to five, hashtag we're working moms life, hashtag California, hashtag lifestyle, hashtag Brazilian, hashtag Christian mom, come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Hashtag faith, hashtag trust in God, hashtag believe, hashtag God is good, hashtag life go goes on, hashtag trust the process, hashtag trust, hashtag single moms are strong. I told you guys, right when they mess their lives up is when they start talking about Jesus. God ain't got nothing to do with this. What a joke. Guys, don't feel bad for him because I sure as hell don't. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.